What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to another product section of Ride with Raj. First of all, a Merry Christmas to all my subscribers and a new year which is coming soon. 2019 will be a great year and I wish you guys all the luck. Today is an exciting day because for this Christmas, my Santa Claus was Rhinox. They have sent me a couple of goodies. Uh, I got a big carton of total four products. Uh, this will be reviewed later on. But first, let's review the trail bag which I'm really excited for. So, here's the bag and uh, Let's talk about it now. Expedition Trail Duffel Bag by Rhinox comes with four straps so that it can mount on any motorcycle, either on the rear seat or on the rear rack. It's built with super strong vinyl coated waterproof fabric and the radio frequency heat welded seams ensure that it's IPX4, which is a standard waterproof solution. Its capacity is 37 liters and the multi-utility design construction can be used as a backpack, a trail bag, a duffel bag and also a tail bag for motorcycles. The straps and plastic buckles on the bag are of decent quality and the zips are also very strong. Planning a short trip or even a trip for 5 to 6 days, I think this duffel bag is perfect for your regular use. There are two easy access pockets and the zips don't look completely waterproof as there is a gap. However, the lip above does create an extra protection for water and snow not to seep in but these compartments are for essentials only. As you can see, my entire palm fits inside the pocket and you can keep your basic things such as your keys, your snicker bars and your map. Let's talk about the main space. This is the dry bag which we'll talk about. This is not part of the backpack. You have to buy it separately. But I feel that everyone should buy this bag if you're planning to buy the Expedition Trail. And I'll tell you why. First, let's focus on this bag. These are the straps which we'll use on the motorcycle to mount. After clearing the straps, you can see how deep this bag is. Now I'll quickly put my things inside the bag as I'm putting the aqua pouch, which I'll review later, the dry bag and couple of things along with my riding jacket, which is completely armored. This bag comes with a roll top design and that's the main reason the water can't seep in. As you can see the quality check certification, everything is tagged there. There's a small Velcro which you can attach and then just like a roll top bag, turn it downwards. Once you've done that, you can buckle on the left and on the right so that it stays sturdy enough. The top flap can be also velcroed downwards so that the back remains in a good shape. It does come with these handle grips which also have velcro and it's easier to carry. Well, my favorite part of this backpack are the strong shoulder straps. Yes, the buckles are not compromised, the cushioning for the straps not compromised. As you can see, the straps do have some uh, things where you can actually put on your keys, your sunglasses, even hook up your water bottle. I really find this a decent thing and I'm not going to remove this for my regular use. Talking about the reinforced material uh, with the heat press done over the PVC, which is really nice and strong. If it even comes off, I'm sure it will not rip off the bag below it. And that's why it's reinforced like that. So it's a decent technology. You should always prefer not to overstack your bag. The Moly construction is decent enough to hook on to other bags and other products, which I'll show you later. The front pocket is decent enough, but it's very slim. Do not expect any thick products to go inside. In fact, even a power bank inside is enough to occupy the space. So this is for cards, maps and something like that. Now I'm wearing this backpack, as you can see, it's very comfortable holding it from one shoulder, even wearing it for both the shoulders. I like one thing about this bag is I can hook on to other bags with this and that's the best part about this. It has three ways. You can hand carry it, you can sling it, it has a side strap and it has shoulder straps. The Expedition dry bag is very important if you are buying the trail bag. If you plan to go in the mountains or if you plan to camp out anywhere and if you feel you don't need to carry a big bag, just carry this bag and 15 liter is sorted. The material use is similar as a trail bag and it is IPX4 which is standard waterproof solution. The straps come inclusive. But I would not recommend this bag to be putting in some stream or river to test it because this is more for rain protection and water to seep in. It's a roll top design again. Once you put all your things inside, make sure you release the air out because it is a waterproof bag. Once the air is completely released out, the bag shrinks and actually takes its real shape and then you can buckle it on the left and the right. You can either sling it on your shoulder, strap it on your motorcycle or strap it even on your riding gear or any other bag which you feel so. The straps provided in the smaller dry bag is very useful as you can pass it through this loop, pass it through this loop and the same way you can pass it through the loops present at the rear of the bag. Well, this is how you strap this on your motorcycle and you can carry on.
Well, I hope you guys like this review and plenty of more product reviews coming your way. So stay tuned for more vlogs and have a great holiday. And as usual, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj.